The SEMO Redhawks are flying high again. After the first month of the college football season, the Red and Black are an impressive 3-1. and one. News 3's Jake Siegel was at Hauk Field for Saturday's game against Central Arkansas and shares why the team's latest victory puts them alongside some pretty good SEMO company. It wasn't a pretty win, but a gritty win as SEMO moves to 3-1 and one on the season following an 8-point victory over Central Arkansas. The Red Hawks made history in this win, becoming the first SEMO team to start 3-1 since 2010. It was that year the Red and Black won their first OVC title and went to the playoffs for the first time since joining the FCS. Definitely a nice feeling, you know, to see that we're trending in that right direction, but, you know, it's one game at a time. You know, the conference season starts up now, and non-conference really doesn't mean anything if you don't step up. So we got to keep getting better each week. Don't kind of fall into... You know, uh, we are pretty good. We just need to keep getting better and growing and see what it leads us to. The past is the past, man. Like, that doesn't mean nothing to us. That was the 2010 team. We the 2022 team. Our best players are our hardest workers and, and all those things. But I think the, the thing that may make us really hard to beat is we don't have a major flaw. With more than a decade since that historic 2010 season, this year's team believes they can compete with anybody. And so far, they're doing just that. With the Red Hawks in Cape Girardeau, Jake Siegel, News 3 Sports.